guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be the Guilty or Innocent Holiday Edition tag. And I was tagged by the amazing, the marvelous Amy Miss Dream Flight 6000. Thank you, Amy, for tagging me again. I love you, boo. Uh, so I'm going to do it really quick because it is Christmas Eve and I want to get it up because it's Christmas Eve. Hello? Who's excited? I'm so excited. I am so ready for it to be Christmas. Um, I have filmed this video already twice, so it may come off as I already know the uh, questions, but I have filmed it twice and it just was not happening. So I'm going to film it. This is the last and final time. If it does not work, then it's not happening. So I'm going to jump into the questions. I am not tagging anyone. If you want to do it, I tag you. So the questions were made up from the original Guilty or Innocent tag and the uh, mom in sparkly heels, she read it to be holiday questions. So, let's go on with question numero uno. Question number one is, do you re-gift? And I am innocent of this one. I do not re-gift, but I am not above re-gifting. I would re-gift in a heartbeat if I knew that it was the right gift for the person I was re-gifting for. So if I knew somebody would love it more than I do, I'm giving it to them. I really don't give things away because I'm like an, a hoarder, so I would probably save your gift. Um, but if I knew you would like it more than I would, I would definitely re-gift it to you. Do you save wrapping paper, ribbon, or gift bags and reuse them? And I am so guilty of this, but I'm happily guilty of it. I love to save those bags. Those bags have meaning. I have bags from Bobby's first birthday party. I save tissue paper. I save cards. I'm an avid card saver. I have cards from when I was a teenager. I have all of Bobby's first birthday cards, and I save them in a binder. And I like to go through and read them because they're so, like, sentimental. With my husband, I like to make his cards, and he doesn't save them. I save them. And and then I'll go back and I'll look at them and it just brings me back to that memory so I love to save cards especially. Do you go crazy uh, do you go Pinterest crazy with crafts or gifts during the holidays and this year I am innocent sorry I have Mr. Quincy right here and he is cruising on everything so um, this year I am innocent I don't know why I just did not get into the spirit of Pinteresting um, but Prior years, I have definitely made a lot of body scrubs, a lot of the knick-knack things that you see on there, and before I have, but this year, I wish I would have done more, but I just really didn't do that much, and I, hopefully next year I'll be able to. Um, do you use Santa or the elf on the shelf as a ploy for good behavior? And I do. I am guilty of this, but I don't think that it's a negative thing because it really helps him to stay focused on the big picture. That being Christmas Day, that being getting what he wants, like working towards something that he wants instead of just thinking that day he's going to get it because he, Bobby has an issue of thinking that if he asks for it, it shall come and it shall come when he thinks it's going to come. So with having the elf and having the elf watch him, um, it allows him to know that he's working towards something. And we actually did not do the elf on the shelf this year. We haven't done it previous. I was debating on if I was going to do the elf or if I was going to not do it. And I decided altogether to go with a Beanie Baby type Olaf. And Olaf has been watching over him and he really has responded well to it. Um, at school he has an elf and at home he has a snowman. So the snowman brings some toys, the snowman causes mischief, and I think that it's a great way to incorporate the same idea, but for way... You okay, bud? Here you go. Say hey, guys. Say hey, guys. Okay. Um, for a way cheaper price. <sighs> Do you forget to move the elf on the shelf? And yes, I have been guilty of this numerous times. Luckily, I still wake up before him, so I was able to throw together something super quick. There was one time that I forgot altogether. He woke up. He did not. He's like, he didn't cause mischief? And I was like, he's really busy getting all your toys together for Christmas. So he's still young enough where he under, you know, he doesn't under, fully understand, but he understands. Um... Do you shop last minute? And I am so guilty of this. And I wish that I wasn't. I really wish that I was like an uh, organized person. I watch Organized Like Jen. She is amazing. She has her holiday prep series. And she's just so put together and organized. And I wish I had that in me. But I don't. Damn it. Can I get organized? I don't want to be a last minute shopper. So, Lisa, I'm with you. In 2015, let's get clean. I want to get organized, get put together with my channel, in my house, in my life. Let's do this. So, yeah, I'm going to try to get organized. I promise. Um, OK, 
Okay, so the next question is, do you shop clearance? Of course, I'm guilty of this. Who the heck does not shop clearance? If you don't shop clearance, you're crazy. You can find a lot of the same stuff marked down for a discounted price um, just by looking. You Just going down that aisle, you can see if something's on clearance, looking in the clearance section when you're shopping online. A lot of times they have the same stuff on sale for clearance. Do you do DIY gifts? And I am guilty of this, but I like to mix it up between guilt... <laughs> guilty and innocent. I like to mix it up between um, homemade and store brought. So I would give like a store brought gift as well as a homemade gift from the kids just so that it's something that you can look back on in future years. Um, you can save it if you like that kind of stuff. Maybe they'll make you an ornament, a plate, a mug, a picture, a card. Have something that's made by them and then it's up to you if you want to save it for the future. I also like to give what I like to get. So um, I like to get the homemade stuff. That kind of stuff is nice to me. It has sentimental value. It's important to me for me to remember like certain times. Um, so I like to give them because I like to receive them. Okay, um, the next question is, do you buy gift cards as gifts? And I am guilty of this. And I am okay with being guilty of this because... If you jazz it up with something else, like um, maybe adding candy to the mason jar or like we did with the popcorn, and it'll be a nice, a much nicer gift than if you just gave them a gift card in a card, you know? So put it in a picture frame, try to jazz it up as much as you can because a lot of times people appreciate the gift cards because if they went out and they're Christmas shopping for everybody and they weren't able to get themselves what they wanted, this is the way that they can get themselves something. If they spent all of their money on Christmas and don't have any money left, they can have the gift card for whatever they may need and I I like receiving gift cards so I don't mind giving the gift cards the next question is do you redecorate after the kids so that it looks perfect and I don't know if she was meaning in regards to the tree or in regards to the house but either way no I like the touch of like like messy chaos. I know that sounds terrible. I think that makes it more homey for us. You know, he helped decorate the tree and at the bottom there's a bajillion different ornaments <laughs> like all mangled together and put together and that's fine because if I was to put it back he would just go the next day and put it how he wanted it. And, and in the house I don't have that many Christmas decorations. If it's in the area where he can touch it then it's he can move it. If I don't want him to touch it I don't put it where he can reach it. Um, do you secretly think Christmas baking is a pain in the butt? And I am so guilty of this. I do not like baking. I am not a baker. I wish I was. My mom, oh my god, she was like a freaking Martha Stewart on crack. She would go crazy. She had a thing that made cookie spritzes. You come to my house and you're trying to bake, it's not happening. I don't have a mixer. I don't have a, I don't have a spatula. I don't have a whisk. I have nothing for baking. Now, I can cook. I can cook you a Christmas dinner. But if you want me to bake you Christmas desserts, it's not happening. Yes, I do not like to bake, and I am guilty all the way to the day I died of that. That's a good thing about my sister. She was the baker, and I was the cooker. So all together, we would be good to go. Okay, so the last question is, do you stay up late on Christmas Eve wrapping gifts? And I am guilty of this, and it's more of like traditional for me. I've always done that. Me and my sisters have always done it. We always stayed up late, and you would watch a show and wrap the gifts and get it all in order. And it just brings on the anticipation. So I like doing that now. Um, I have been wrapping the gifts little by little as I go, but I'll probably be up late tonight getting everything in order because I just want it to be so perfect and so special because now that he's almost four, he's at that age where he like knows knows what's going on so it's really really exciting and I cannot wait till tomorrow I cannot wait for him to have like his first Christmas where he really knows what's going on and it's going to be so exciting so hopefully I will get a good enough vlog that I can put it up for you guys and show you how we spent our Christmas I cannot wait to watch all of yours I am so excited for Christmas I am so thankful for every single one of you the friendships that I have made with you women are it's just amazing and I cannot even ex begin to explain how happy I am to have each and every one of you in my life I have like formed friendships with people in the comments and I just I just love it it's the most rewarding thing I ever decided to do and I'm so thankful that I decided to do it tag you if you want to do the tag go ahead and do it and leave the comment leave it in the comments below so I can watch I will see you guys tomorrow bye